Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Stranded Deep. So, I spent the night you know, going around gathering up some resources, cut down a couple of trees, and gathered up some rocks, and lash, and so on and on. And I noticed that there was a few things they changed in the game. One of the things they changed that I found a little odd was whenever you cut down the, the young palms here, it always sounded like you were cutting down a tree, now it actually sounds like you're hitting grass which is good. Another interesting one too is when you cut down the palm bunches, not only do you get the palm fronds, but you also get the fiber sleeves now, which is it's a really good, interesting idea. But yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. We're gonna probably get a small little shack going, maybe even a better boat because that thing's garbage, let's be honest. Uh, at the same time too, I'm gonna go and uh, deal with the big boat there. I'm just waiting for some food here. Uh, gotta get some more crates, got no storage whatsoever. Gonna have to start building that is for sure. And drop that. that. Oh, food's done. All right, let's put that out. Go ahead and eat that, and that should do me for now. Uh, one of the things I actually want to do first, I gotta find those tarps. Oh, that's not what I want to do. And that's not the box I'm looking for. I am looking for, of course, the last one. There we go. Get two solar stills. Uh, oh, I gotta get used to the buttons again. Uh, one of the things I did actually notice uh, about the coconuts. Why am I not close enough to the rocks? Okay, uh, uh, where are the rocks? The rocks are over there, and the lashings are over here. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, you actually have that stuff in your inventory now? Oh, that's no, that's no good. All right, let's try this again. So, see if we can place two solar stills down. I need a couple more rocks. And once we have that, we are going to go ahead and what was it? Tools? No, it was consumables. We're going to make a coconut flask. And that is going to be a water bottle. That's actually what I was trying to do last episode, but now apparently you just drink the coconut, and that is it. And that's the end of the coconut. Okay, go here. And now... Now we should be able to actually fill this up. Once there's actually water in there. So that's good. So we'll just drop that there for now. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. And now that I have inventory, I am fairly good. Let's go check this guy out. I need more boxes. I need more crates. I need storage. Now I know at some point in time they do plan on adding uh, recipes for those those crates. But for now, they're just things you find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to open the door. And then I'm going to go back up for air. And I'm gonna brave it. Oh my god, that scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, beans, label maker, and air, and hopefully we don't get run into that shark. Oh god. Did I mention I hate the ocean? Yes, I do. My uh, legs are getting all tingly right now. Alright, let's go for it again. I gotta keep an eye out for, uh, we'll call him Mr. Beefy, I guess. Why not? Alright, one last breath. And down we go. Oh, he was just above me. Oh, that is not good. Alright, please tell me I got something else in here. Oh, nothing. Get me out of here. Oh, jeez, there he is. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, uh, he got me. Oh. Uh. Well, that was close. I still got on my limbs. At least that's a good, a uh, good thing. All I got was a label maker and a can of beans. Ah. Oh well. Uh, how are we doing here? We're fine. It was just a little love bite. No big deal. So the next order of business is going to be... Uh, how are we doing here? 
Oh, we actually have some water. So let's try this out. Hey, it works. Good. Modern technology's at its finest. Modern technology at its finest. There we go. So let's uh, see about building another raft. Now I'm wondering if maybe having a hammer is actually going to allow me to build build things from a distance or like from pile, because that used to be a thing, but now apparently it's not. So let's try making a crude hammer. That's what I want. Okay. So. Uh, so why? Oh yeah, because everything's in a crate right now. No, it's, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's try that. Not. No, that's. Oh, excuse me a minute. My fingers are all over the place right now. That's what I want to do. All right. Let's get those out there. I'll start with that little yellow, little yellow dinghy. And put that down. What do we else we can make here? That's why I don't like 14 sticks to make the the wood base now. Or always. And I really don't feel like going down for those barrels. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use it. Oh, we've got a little too long guy here. And we'll need a floor, a couple of floors. And I will use driftwood, because there's actually driftwood nearby that I can salvage. And apparently driftwood is a mineable resource now. Oh! Isn't that interesting? They turned driftwood into the mineable resource, just like uh, uh, the clay and the stone. Now does this stuff respawn? Because I remember you used to just get uh, driftwood piles. You cut it up and you get driftwood logs. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, as you can tell, it's been a long time since I played. Yeah. Sticks still go flying, that's for sure. Okay, well, since... Now the question is... Like, honestly... If there's no driftwood sticks, how do you make a driftwood floor? That makes no sense. But that's fine because we can always make it just wood anyways. And now we need a sail. And it's need one cloth and one lashing. Where is that lashing? Well that cloth is there. And grab one of those. And aha. And get off this godforsaken island. Alright, let's go. No, oh, it's definitely a lot better than that, st that stupid yellow dinghy. So, have we been to that island? No, we've been going, going counterclockwise. So let's. I can't actually access our inventory. Wow, choppy waves. I think we'll go. Uh, Take a little peek over this island here and see what we find. But yeah, I'll bring you back when we get there. Okay, just coming up to it now. We actually got quite a few ship, uh, quite a few boats, and we got a big red box. Got one down here, but I don't know if I want to go down there again. Not yet. Not after the last one. I almost didn't get out of that one alive. But let's go see what we got up here. And beach me please, thank you. I know she can't hit space to jump off anymore, which kinda sucks. That was an easy way to get off. Now you actually have to interact with it. Cloth, I'll take it. Oh jeez, you scared me. Why is there no boxes in here? Oh that's a rip off. Oh well. 
There's many more where that came from. Alright, let's see what else we got around here. Oh, hello. There's my boat. Hoi. Nothing on top. What is this? Take that. No, I don't care about the flare gun. Why is there no box up there? <laughs> I'm sure there's... Maybe there's one over there. It's pretty sad when you're, all you really care about is a wooden box. This one should have one. It doesn't have a console. So, there we go. Planks and another flashlight. Um, 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 um. I can drop the rock. I do not want to drop that. Alright, nothing else there. Let's go investigate this thingy. Landshark? Oh, he just wants me to know that he's around. Alright. Where's it or? Where is it or? Ah. Oh, you stupid crap. <laughs> Can't even hammer the crab. That's funny. Oh, those crab scared me. Alright, what else we got around here? Not much of an interest, really. Got some leather if we need it. Got a box, anyways. Uh, let's actually drop this, see if we can manage the inventory a little bit better. Uh, apparently not. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. Uh, don't need. Well, need that. Don't need that. Pick up that. And. What are we doing here? Yeah, maybe we'll head off to that one. So, come back here. So, anyways, I will see you at the next island, which will be that one. It might be a little dark, but whatever. I don't know if you can see this, but there's one sea fort there. There's another one just over there. So are these separate missions, or are these like actual sea forts? Mm -mm, we might have to go check one of these out in the morning. Well, let's see what we have over here. Might have to set up a shelter here to sleep the night. Well, it doesn't look like there's too much around. We'll just head over to this side. to a quick look. See what I mean? There's one there and one right there. Hmm. Let's see what else we have on this island. Yeah, a little too late to be trekking off that direction. Let's see if we have any ships around. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, but that is interesting. Because I knew when they came up with the missions that there was going to be one of those towers in the center of the map that's where you activate the mission so maybe maybe there's one for each one or maybe that's my, that might actually be in a sea fort but anyways I'm gonna take care of the whole nighttime situation and I'll bring you back in the morning we'll go uh, we might go check that one out so I'll be right back okay it is now morning I started making my way to the first one here uh, you know honestly these are one of the things I've never actually seen in the game myself you know in any playthrough I've ever done I've never actually run across any of these sea forts now yeah this is gonna be a mission starter but you don't actually start the mission until you activate some sort of 
pole. So what I want to do is I actually want to see if there's actually anything in here we can get. Oh. There we go. Music's gone all funny. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, space to climb. Okay. We got any supplies here? Any goodies? Doesn't look like it. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Let's go upstairs. See if there's anything up here, maybe. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, this is where we go and start a mission. So we're not going to bother doing this. I have a feeling the other one's going to be the same. And nothing up top. Okay. We'll go check out the other one too, just just in case. You know, find some goodies might wouldn't hurt. Oh yeah, down here. So the next one I'm gonna go to I think is that way. If I can find my way down. Find my way down without hurting myself, that is. Uh, where's my boat? Hey. Okay, get, get me up there. Come on. There we go. Alright, so... Next one is... Over... Oh, hang on a sec. Something in my eye. Uh, where is the other one? Over there. Alright, I'll meet you at the other one and we'll see if there's anything over there. That's just another mission starter. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something else while we're there. So I'll see you in a minute. So here is the other one, and yes, that's what it is. It's just another uh, place to start another mission. But, anyways, I want to start working my way back. Uh, hit a couple islands up along the way, and if I find anything interesting, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just coming to this small little island that was right next to it. We got a couple of wrecks here, which is nice. But, I don't know if you can see off in the distance there, but there is a third tower. So we, if I want to complete all three missions and actually get off these godforsaken islands with the gyrocopter, I know where to do them. But, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Let's go see what we have up in the, the big old boat here. Oh wow, there's lots of boats around here. Okay. Hopefully Mr. Sharky, Mr. Beefy, doesn't give us some problems. We got some barrels, but don't really care about the barrels too much. I want the boxes. Oh, what the hell? There used to be one right there. So I guess we have to go in now. Okay, let's. This should be too bad. We actually have. Oh, <sighs> I don't know what that was. That that scared me. Yeah, teleportation at its finest. I just went up for some air and I clipped right through the wall. Okay, let's see what we have in here quickly. No lashing. Nothing. Take that. Nothing in there. And. Freedom. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. All right. Let's get up to the shore here. See what we got in here. We might have to do a little bit of inventory management. Okay. What's in the box? Uh, give me a million dollars. Yeah. Oh, we got a propeller at least. Uh, let's see here. What do we got in here? We can take take that out. Put that in there. 
Uh, what else? What else we got here? Uh, actually, did I have corrugated in one of these? I don't think I did. No, I did. All right, we'll put the corrugated in there, and let's go check out the other boat over here. Please be a good one, please be a good one. That's another one of these big ones too. Ah, I'm stuck in a rock, uh oh. <laughs> uh, that's a bad spot. Wow, this thing's like right in the rocks. Huh, and they don't have the boxes on the top anymore. It kinda sucks. So I gotta go down and Ew. I might not be able to get in this one. Oh, let's see if this door's blocked. No, it's open. Nothing in there. Uh duct tape. That and get out of here. Grab the loot and run. <laughs> okay. I hope there's something good in this one at least. Well, mind you, what is good in this game? Like, about well, the only good thing you can find in this game is the machete, to be honest. Even then, uh, Machete's not exactly something to brag about. Well, that's what we got. Another flare gun. <laughs> Alright, where's my other boxes? Uh, where did I put them? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, other side of the island. Oh, let's see. Was there any other boats around here? <gasps> I saw him too. Stupid crap. Yeah, I don't really see too much. Uh, there's that one. I think I already did that one. I can't remember. Two flare guns. I have no idea what I do with two flare guns. I got two flashlights, too. That's funny. Alrighty. Uh, what do we got? We are good. Grab that, and that, and that. And. Off to the next island, I guess. Whichever that may be. Where's my boat? My boat is over there. So that means we came from there. So I guess that's going to be the next stop. Anyway, I'll see you there. Okay, I finally made it home. Did get a little bit, of lo little bit lost, but I made it. Uh, I did find uh, another crate on an island somewhere, and didn't really find too much. I think it was just a hammer in there. Yeah, another a refined hammer and another flashlight. Uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad. It was mainly the crates I was worried about. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these flashlights. I think I still have one on the floor here somewhere. Somewhere over there I got one. But it's not too bad. Now I got some storage. I got the label maker, which is going to come in handy. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up some wood between now and the next episode. And uh, yeah, next episode we'll start getting ourselves a little sh shack set up, and maybe we'll go do a little bit more exploring. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.